Dialogue of the Saviour, subchapter Emergence of the World, he continued, the Saviour, the water collected above is beyond the stars, and beyond the water is a great fire encircling them like a wall. If you remember the creation account, Genesis 1, the waters above and the waters below, this is referencing the waters above. The water collected above is beyond the stars. We know the stars contained in the firmament dome, the heavenly luminaries, the sun, moon and stars. It's the same beyond the waters above is a great fire encircling them like a wall of fire. And then secondly, the subheading, how does an earthquake shake? Judas answered and said, tell me master, how does an earthquake shake when it shakes the earth? The master picked up a stone and held it in his hand and he said to him, what am I holding in my hand? He answered, it is a stone. He said to them, what supports the earth is also what supports heaven. When a word comes from the majesty, it will go to what supports heaven and earth. The earth does not move. If it moved, it would collapse. But it does not, so that the first word might not fail. The word established the world, and dwelled in it, and smelled the fragrance from it. So the sentence particularly we're interested in here is where the Saviour says he has a stone in his hand, and basically the earth is founded and does not move because if it moved it would collapse so the initial question about earthquakes being answered and that when we see an earthquake the earth then moves and then the things built on top of the earth then collapse again we're looking at stationary motionless earth 